Small cell, or oat cell carcinoma, shown as the oats carnome, is a type of cancer that commonly arises in the lungs and is named for its flat cell shape and scanty cytoplasm, resembling oats. This is an aggressively malignant cancer, the aggressive malignant man, as it rapidly grows and metastasizes early. This cancer has a strong correlation with smoking, the strong arm smoking, and almost exclusively occurs in smokers, arising in a centrally localized portion of the lung, shown as the central damage to the lungs. Most cases of small cell lung cancer arise from amplification of MYC oncogenes, the Mickey hat on switch, although P53 and RB tumor suppressor gene mutations can also lead to this cancer. Now, because small cell lung cancers arise in the central airways, they present as a mediastinal mass that narrows the bronchial airways, the narrow broccoli airways, leading to the symptoms of cough, dyspnea, and hoarseness. The cells in this cancer lead to perineoplastic syndromes, like Cushing syndrome, the cushion, because they secrete hormones, like ectopic ACTH, the egg top AC. Other perineoplastic syndromes can also arise, like SIADH, or syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone, the inappropriate ant tie on a diurocket from ectopic ADH, while secretion of antibodies against presynaptic calcium channels leads to Lambert-Eaton syndrome, the lamb eating. Diagnosis of small cell or oat cell carcinoma is made when we see Kolchitsky cells on histology, shown as the cool chips, which stain blue and are also known as enterochromaffin cells. Furthermore, because this tumor arises from neuroendocrine differentiation, these cancer cells stain with tumor markers indicating they are neuron-specific inolase positive, the neuron Eskimo lace positive, and chromogranin A positive, the chrome granny A apple positive. Because small cell lung cancers are so highly malignant, they are usually metastatic by the time they are first discovered, making surgical resection unsatisfactory as a therapeutic intervention. Thus, the majority of patients should undergo chemotherapy and radiation therapy, the chemo head wrap and radiation radio. So let's quickly review small cell or oat cell carcinoma of the lung. This is an aggressively malignant cancer that typically originates in the lungs and has a strong correlation with smoking. They present centrally in the lungs and occur as a result of MYC oncogenes. Signs and symptoms of this cancer include narrowing of bronchial airways, leading to cough, dyspnea, and hoarseness, and perineoplastic syndrome comes from ectopic hormone secretion. Cushing syndrome is often seen and occurs from ectopic ACTH, while we also see SIADH and Lambert-Eaton syndrome. Diagnosis is made when we see Kolchitsky cells, along with tumor cells which are neuron-specific enolase positive and chromogranin A positive. Because most cancers are metastatic upon discovery, patients are typically treated with chemotherapy and radiation. Oat cell carcinoma can be remembered with this carnome raiding a granny's oat farm. His accomplice is an aggressive malignant man puffing on a cigarette with a massive strong arm, as this cancer is aggressively malignant and has a strong correlation with smoking. And not only do they steal her oats, they also sabotage her equipment by throwing cigarette butts into it, causing central damage to the lungs. So when a mouse in a Mickey hat flips the on switch, representing amplification of Mick oncogenes, all hell breaks loose. The lung's broccoli airways become narrowed as butts are sucked in, and the granny's operation has to shut down. Her machinery spits out ice cubes onto a cushion, representing Cushing syndrome, and it does this using an AC unit with an egg on top of it, illustrating ectopic ACTH. To make matters worse, no more fluid is coming from the dye rocket water tower, as it has been sabotaged by an inappropriate ant, portraying syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, Check out the rest of our lung cancer's picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from adenocarcinoma of the lung, bronchial carcinoid tumor, small cell carcinoma, large cell carcinoma, squamous cell carcinoma of the lung, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.